What's something you regret? This one time, when I was in college I've just got out of class on a pretty windy day. There was this completely gorgeous girl outside trying to light a cigarette with matches. And needless to say it wasn't working out. So I casually stroll over and pull out my lighter and light it for her. She's so grateful and appreciative. I say, no problem. With a smile and head on my way to my dorm feeling pretty good about myself. It was as I reached my room that I realized how stupid I was. Talk about missed opportunity. I was in. Man. I should have just stayed and smoked one with her. Struck up a conversation. Oh but maybe she still thinks about the legendary man who was so suave he smoothly lit her cigarette and kept going like this was his life. Last Thursday my pregnant wife suddenly had her heart rate shoot up to 180 for a short while. At the time she was just lying in bed. I found it odd and thought that a doctor might have to have a look at that, but I didn't tell her to go see one. Yesterday she collapsed and had to be transferred to the hospital where they diagnosed a bilateral pulmonary embolism. She's currently in treatment. We'll see whether she can make a full recovery or if there'll be permanent damage to the heart and or lungs. So I regret not having told her to go and get checked. On a positive note, the baby is fine. I hope she gets better dude. Thanks. Me too. Finding Reddit. Reddit and social media in general. Getting hooked on porn at 13. Not punching a few people in the face. Not filling out FAFSA slash GI Bill paperwork. But wait. There's always more. Not quitting drinking earlier. 2 years sober. Proud of you for being sober now. Giving you my free food. You shouldn't regret it, it was very much enjoyed. When I was in high school, early 80s. Damn it. I was at the gym one night and two lovely college girls joined me in the club's hot tub. We were the only three. One of them kept slipping off her seat and bumping her legs into mine. She would giggle and say water pressure, kept pushing her off. After, when I was leaving they asked if I needed a drive and I told them nope. I'd call a friend. But thanks. Stupid 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 arg. Of course. It might very well have saved my life. But still. Exclamation mark. Bruh. Exclamation mark. Coming at you at 88 miles per hour. We can fix this. Joining Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed it. Until recently. But I feel. Like I've wasted many summers and many weekends doing it. When I cold been hanging out with my friends. Or doing other things. Three of my closest friends were in my scout troop over 20 years ago. And I still talk to them all the time. I don't know your situation. But it might not turn out. To be such a bad thing. You see. My friends I made from cub scouts went to the other troop in my town. I was secluded to the other troop. Because I was already close to them. Since I visited when picking up my brother from meetings. When I was a cub scout. Mom's friend tried to seduce me when I was 16. Should have ducked her. Username checks out. Smoking cigarettes. I regret giving Limp Bizkit a chance. Going all in for my ex-fiance. Had I been objective I would have seen it was meant to fail. Same. Adding letting her two friends stay with us. This one time. I was born. Everything has gone downhill since that. This has made a lot of people very angry and been widely regarded as a bad move. Sorry, not sorry, didn't have much control over it. I don't regret anything. Sure I've done and said a few things that I probably shouldn't have. But everything has helped me learn and has led me to where I am and who I'm right now in life. And I like my life. I want what this guy's having. An awful lot of relationship mistakes. Mainly though, I regret ever getting a credit card and buying tons of shit I couldn't pay for. Lead down a slippery slope of needing a credit card to pay for essentials. And watching all my salary just go on debt repayments. You live and learn. I guess. Not reconnecting with with my crush when it seemed like she might have felt the same way. Cause I was so scared of being that guy. Not getting into team sports at young age. In high school I was 6 feet 5 slash 270 pounds. 
pet teacher once pulled me aside and said that not only I was a big guy, but also naturally good at sports which is rare, and I shouldn't let that go to waste. Unfortunately I was more into drinking and hanging out so did nothing with that. Still think sometimes about what cold been. Not being able to say everything I wanted to say to mom before she died. Cheating on my wife. Girlfriend back in the day, but that shit will tear you apart more than her. That's if you have a heart and conscience. Does she know? Out of interest? Yes. I told her myself a few weeks after I screwed up. Even though I was forgiven. It's not the same. I hate the feelings I get whenever I think of the pain I made her go through. Some will probably think I'm lying, but if a guy regrets what he does, in the end it will hurt him more than the person he hurt. I regret that I didn't do my assignment today. Marrying my ex-husband. Never delivering my love card to my crush in middle school not because of her, but because I mailed the writing and the design of the card, and it feels wasted. Just overwrite the name and use it for someone else then. Exactly. I have come to terms with my life. I regret nothing. Spending so much time vying for the attention and validation from people who could care less about me. Getting hooked on anim. Not applying myself in college and wasting all that time and money. The money can be recovered, but not the time. Not going to vet school, but my grades weren't that great, so I may have not made it in any way. While doing a summer class doing athletism I got scouted by the national hammer throwing team. Dumbass 18 year old me said no. Could be a Olympic champion. My biggest regret in my life. Every missed opportunity with girls, who I later found out had a crush on me, including my best friend. She was also my neighbor when we were kids. We weren't as close then as we are now. Unfortunately, we live 4 hours away now. She recently got back together with an old boyfriend from 5 years ago, who lives even further away. I knew she had a boyfriend as of early this year. I didn't know she was single in the meantime. Either way, she's visiting this weekend. And we are just gonna hang out like we usually do. She's one of two people people outside of my family that I keep in touch with regularly. The other is my roommate from college. Not standing up to my bullies because I was scared to get in trouble because of zero tolerance. Hardly anything was done to stop them. But if I were to stand up for myself I would get into trouble. Bullshit. I should have decked the guy who ran his hand down my leg in class. Op I want to ask you the same. Question mark? Going for a Starbucks instead visiting my grandmother on her last day. Fuck. Now I regret asking you that. Not killing myself sooner. Each day seems to give me more reason to kill myself. My DMs are open. If you even need someone to listen in here. And you're very strong to keep on fighting. Not taking university seriously in early years. Now I'm almost graduating. And I'm pretty insecure about things. Mainly because I'm a veterinary student. And don't want to kill anybody because of incompetence. Not being dead. My entire adulthood. Not telling anyone about my suspected depression. I've been a few days clean. I literally but the skin around my nails till I bled. And I didn't realize it was self-harm lady friend in college who I tried to become more than friends with. Been over a year since we spoke, and I still miss her friendship so much. Being born. Many of my sexual partners. Not going to college, and not spending more time with my grandparents. My crush once invited me to their dorm slash room they shared with a bunch of other people while they were gone. They kept quiet for a second, and then awkwardly asked if they should lock the door for the night, because of our green night plans. Green night is something when it's the last day of a camp and you prank others. Most commonly by smearing toothpaste on their door handles. I don't know if it's a tradition in other countries, but in Poland it's very common. I said no, since it will probably fail, and then said see you next year, then and left. They said nothing. Worst mistake of my life. If you ask me, I could at least have hugged them. I stole an airplane. PLS elaborate. 
I was 17. My friends and I were out at my cottage. We were children getting drunk on our own. Took a boat out to go fishing. Saw a pontoon boat with the door open. I was super drunk at the time so a lot of it was hazy. I remember my friend didn't want to, so I went it alone. I started it drove around the lake. Tried to take off. The nose went straight up engine stalled. I only got about 20 feet up. I had to swim to shore. Choosing to fry potatoes instead of buying them went beyond third degree burn. Two weeks at the hospital. Damn. I was like 11 or 12 at the time, and I was with an older girl she was 13 her hormones got the best of her, and I just wanted a girlfriend, because I wanted her to be happy one day she got handsy with me, she was grabbing my bulge in my pants nibbling on my ears and shti, and she takes off her shirt and kisses me, she was older and stronger than me, so I was defenseless on top of her grinding herself on my bulge and my early hormones creeping up on me, but I snapped back into my head, and realized how fked the whole situation is. So I tried to say no, but she was begging me to touch her tits I kept saying no, and had to run to my room, to get away from her. I regret ever saying yes to her being my gf. I wasn't about to lose my v card at 11 or 12 that is just foul for her to do. She completely took advantage of a boy in heat practically to satisfy herself. The next day she threw her bloody panties at me, while she was doing laundry. I almost threw up that day, moral, don't become someone's partner for them, or their happiness your happiness, matters too so don't forget it. And hormones are a big deal of growing up so be careful boys and girls. I need you to know it wasn't your fault you said no she should have stopped. Thanks man I actually felt guilty for turning her down for a while afterwards, and I stayed with her to keep her happy, while my mental health plummeted. Immaturely going off on a girl in high school via FASA book. It wasn't me then. And it isn't me now. It was just so out of character for me. And I did it out of anger. Because I wanted her to hurt too. Also. I regret putting energy into unfulfilling relationships or one-sided relationships. Myself and a friend friend joined the military at the same time. After 3 years of service. Me army and he was a marine. We both were deployed overseas at the same time. While over there my friend was killed. And our families and friends didn't get a chance to inform me of this before I was badly wounded and began the process of many surgeries and making my way home. This took 9 months. And still nobody told me about my friend. When I finally returned home my friend's dad, mother, and sister came to see me. I hugged my friend's father and he said you made it. Me still not knowing. I replied, well, I'm not dead, apostrophe, all of them burst into tears and left without explanation. My brother told me about my friend that night over the phone. Nobody ever could give me a reason I was never told about my friend. My friend's family refuses to talk to me to this day. It's been 18 years and I regret saying that every day. Installing League of Legends just my joking opinion so please, don't take too seriously as I mean no offense to anyone. Supporting Amazon in its infancy, so so many better options than that overcharging shithole of a marketplace. eBay and various direct to consumer Chinese sites are way cheaper than Amazon yet people act like they will die if they aren't sucking their zost teat and integrating Amazon into their whole life. My ex was like that Patrick meme. I would show her a product is significantly cheaper on other sites, but then she would say, but then I can't use my Amazon Prime for free shipping. Been a seller and buyer on eBay since 2007, and will absolutely never use Amazon, especially now that most companies are making the big move to online B2C sales. Seriously retarded how people buy crap only from Amazon, unless it's useless merch from their favorite YouTuber, while paying people on Patreon. As if it's their expected duty. Only thing comes to mind is not telling this girl I had a crush on. How I felt about her. She was actually turning her life around. Then she died. Her ex or somebody told her to shoot up one last rhyme. Overdosed her. Leaving her to die alone in an abando. I was devastated and found out at the jail where I met her mom. That she had told her about me. I feel like if I had said something before. That even if she turned me down, she well have stayed clean. She was apparently really thankful of my support. Had been clean for nearly a year. 
was about to get a job and apartment through the program. And her daughter back. I know it seemed like she colder ended up a typical junkie, but she actually had promise. She cut out all the people we knew that were drugs. Like I did. Not hitting on my crush. Waking up. Not trying harder to date when I was younger. Masturbating for the first time. Why though? Now he can't stop. Not working out during Rona route break. Getting a large lower back tattoo that says have no regrets. Not going to culinary school. Going to university. I really didn't know what to do after high school and in a panic. I applied for a place in my hometown simply because one liked the subject in high school and I didn't want to be at home with no friends around me. I never really did well. I sort of stayed towards the bottom middle of studying. I was too afraid to go and explore and make new friends I didn't do any extra club activities or stuff. Kinda just was there not getting the most out of it. My crippling internet addiction. Watching a gacha life video. Being friends with people who turned out to be assholes. I have too much shit from my past that I wish I could change. But I feel like living in it made me the pose that I am. In 2014 I found out homeless people were doing menial tasks like matching images and words for bitcoin. I installed a wallet on a VM and mindlessly matched shit for just over 3 hours and got under a tenth of a bitcoin. Working for 3 hours and only receiving around $8 to $12 an hour seemed ludicrous to me. It also made it so that I was no longer interested in trying to acquire more of it. Please click subscribe if you enjoyed this video.